Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, got a got a situation where a customer brought in, or they have a camcorder, a video camcorder, and it records onto these mini DVD, these mini CDs or DVDs, or I don't even know, mini DVD actually. See, look at that. but uh, I I've never messed with these. But um, anyways, the camcorder, the format that it's burning it in is I don't even know the correct term for it, but it creates that video underscore TS folder. And they have the VOB files, the IFOs, and the VUPs. And I haven't really messed with those, but they're trying to burn it. They're running Windows 7, and DVD Maker wouldn't work, Windows DVD Maker. So um, I was messing around and found a solution. And it, it will play the DVD into a home DVD player, too, with menus and everything. So uh, let's, I'll show you. Bye. Okay, now here's the folder that got created onto that mini DV. And uh, or mini DVD, sorry. Um, and when you open it, it's got a few folders. There's nothing in there. There's some stuff in here. And honestly, I don't know what. I don't know much about these, but I'm just going to show you from my experience how to get it to work. This is the folder where I'm concerned about. Uh, video underscore TS. Now, um, you need all these files, from what I understand, in order to get this to work. So by default, you know, customer would go and, and uh, you know they would find this uh, D the Windows DVD maker that comes with Windows 7 and you go in here you try to add the items go to the desktop go to that folder and there's nothing being displayed granted you can change what files get displayed you can you can grab them all and uh, you'll see here two files were successfully added but five could not be added so I said eh, forget that okay so my trusty uh, image burn just free and let me bring it over here um, I use this to burn almost everything uh, you know certain things I'll use CD burner XP for but uh, this is just I, I've been using this for years so now what I did is I went write fo files and folders to disk and see if you try to browse let me see for the source folder I didn't do it this way let's see what happens okay that's just putting the whole folder I didn't test all that out so what I did is I just open it up copy all the files and drag them right into there and then puts it right on the root of the DVD and of course just choose your um, DVD player and uh, hit burn well once <clears throat> if I had a disk in there this would uh, be clickable and then that worked I was able to play the the video and it has the menu and everything that uh, maybe the camcorder created automatically I don't know but uh, I, put, I even tested out my Samsung DVD player out on my uh, plasma out there, and it worked fine. Audio was good, menus all worked, and uh, seemed, seemed to do uh, what they wanted it to do. Hope that helped. Come join the chat. We got people in there all through the night. Look at that. One o'clock in the morning, and they're still chatting. I'm, I'm sleeping. These guys, are, these guys are true night people. Anyways, all right. Come check us out.